Praise Shalom, Shalom. We are the real Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in and week out, prophesying the return of the Most High and the Seventy Son. All praise is honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakodash. Double honors to the Apostles out of New York, the Great Millstone of uh, GMS. Honor so I can run the plan, lift up the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, in truth and sincerity. This is where you arrive from Great Millstone of Chicago and coming to you with another lesson. Um, this is in Sirach 2 and 10. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? All right, we're the real Hebrew Israelites, man. So-called Negro, Latino, Native American Indians. We're battling through and for and in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem El Shai to make it to the kingdom on the first go round. We're uh, fighting this, you know, demons on the regular, fighting our flesh on the regular, uh, and enduring to the end. All right. And he said, He that runneth the race runneth all. So we're not, you know, just shadow boxing. We actually run in this race that Paul calls this this truth this great this this thing of ours as a great fight of faith he said I finished my fight of faith or something like that uh, finished my course fought the, um, the fight of faith to my knowledge alright and uh, let me see if I can pull that since the traffic gets a little slow see it's a um, fight of faith Right, 2 Timothy 4 and 7. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. 1 Timothy 6 and 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Whereunto thou art also, um, thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. All right? Once you've been doing this work and you've been doing it with sincerity, you've been doing it in truth, you've been giving it your all, you've been fighting the good fight of faith, you've been running the, uh, um, this race the way the Lord will have you to run this race, then then you have to, all you can do is continue doing what you're doing and then hope and have the expectation and confidence that the Lord is going to save you. All right? And that's why I started with, look at the generations of old. Who have the Lord, you know, who who's put their, who's been known to give their all, to run their all, to fight their all for the Lord. He said, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? If you do the things that he say, Luke 6, 46, why callest thou me Lord, Lord, and doest not the things that I say. If you do the things that he say, you will receive the promises. All right. If it were not so, he would not have told you. The Most High is not a man that he should lie. All right? Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall be the words that go forth out of my mouth that shall not return unto me void, but prosper whereunto I sent it. All right? He said he's not going to uh, um, call back any of his words. All right? The Word of God is purified seven times in the fire, in the furnace. Yahweh Shem Yahushai said he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Alright? So if you're fighting this good fight of faith, doing all that is to stand, then <laughs> that's all you got to continue to do until the end. Alright? And look at Abraham. Look at Isaac. Look at Jacob. Look at the, the those great men who gave themselves to Yahweh Shem Yahushai, who are humble. All right, and, and and obedient to the spirit and power you have by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem All right, we 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 will get the things that he say. All right, the promises, man. We will get deliverance. All right, he said we're gonna have to endure um, for a moment, but joy cometh in the morning. These are the scriptures, man. Are we living them? Do we believe them? 
Who caught Daniel? Uh, uh, um, who fed Daniel in the lion's den, man? Who sent um, Habakkuk? All right. Who 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 ordered that those ravens, you know, to feed um, Elijah? Okay. Who did it? All right. Who uh who um aided every single um, single man of the Lord in distress? Elijah when they and, and his servant when they were surrounded by uh, uh, the heathens. And he said, Father, would you open up his eyes to see that there is more angels, uh, there is more to be with dust than to be with them? Do you know that there is more to be with dust than be with these heathens and these Edomites out here? Do you believe that? Do you know the Lord said his pleasure and his desires to give us the kingdom? All he asks us in all our ways, acknowledge him and he will direct our paths. Right to live these words, believe these words, stand by these words, you know, promote these words, teach these words, trust these words, hide in these words. We're coming up to the time of Jacob's trouble where it's going to get hot everywhere. See, the hopeful righteous is like we've been in trouble, we've been fighting, we've been going through, all right. And we're not done yet. All right? We still got a long way to go. But the long way is not thousands and thousands of years, hundreds and hundreds of years and decades now. We're knock, knock, knocking. All right? We're in, we're in, in the months to year, so, uh, you know, time frame, month and few months time frame. I can't even give you, you know, I'm, I'm not saying years upon years. I'm not saying months upon months. I just know it's going to be a few more months of this shit. And he said, how can you say that? Look at the, he said, look at the signs. He said, when you go out and you see parts of these signs pass, know that it's the very same time the Most High is about to come and deliver us, man, and come visit the world that he made. So it's that, it's around that very same time. Hallelujah. So now we just got to hold the course. We had to hold the line. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemiah Shabbat Shem Rahakadash. So, I mean, this is just a spiritual encouragement, man. I, I was, you know, conversing with an elder, and, you know, he was basically saying, endure, you know. And uh, we all going through the same ass shit. And, you know, and through the spiritual vibration, I, I was watching a, a, uh, a video or a title of the video popped up or something like, you know, you know, it's, that is that, you know, still some hard times to go through. All right. There will be an impact of Jacob's trouble. and We're going to feel part of that impact, too. The difference is the Lord says, my servant shall eat. The Lord said, we're going to be straight. Right? But he didn't say he was not going to feel no hunger pains or, you know, distress. No, he said through much tribulation, you know, with much afflictions, we're going to make it and enter into the kingdom of heaven. So we know that we're in it now. So expect it to continue to go until the Lord starts to uh, to tear down Babylon even faster. Where a lot of this shit, you know, the Lord, the, the more that we get on and progress in Babylon, the more the Lord is going to strike.